superheat. We said we need to figure out where the superheat is. The other thing that I mentioned is knowing where that PDP predetermined point is. We need to figure out exactly where that is. The engineer, whoever designed the system, has determined this is where I want it to be. And that's what we have to do. When you purchase a piece of equipment, they should tell you what the superheat reading is or what it should be. That is going to tell you where the predetermined point is. That indicates how much superheat we want, which will indicate where the predetermined point is going to be. So let's look at slide 42. As we look at slide 42, we see that the predetermined point is right there on the coils, and that's where the engineer wants it to be. The predetermined point is going to determine where the superheat is. If, this, if the predetermined point moves, then that's going to change the superheat. In this example, we see that we have a 40 degree coil and the temperature at the outlet of the coil is 50 degrees. When we subtract the two, we see that we have 10 degrees of superheat. And to me, that's ideal. We want somewhere between eight to 12. 8 to 12 degrees of superheat. Now if we look at slide 43, what we see here is that now the predetermined point has moved up the coil. We can see that it is superheating after the predetermined point, but because of that it is superheating in a much, much larger area. Because of that, we see that now the outlet temperature is 60 degrees. When we do the math, we see that we have a total of 20 degrees of superheat. 20 degrees. 